what is your opinion about this whole collaboration between Hollywood and Bollywood Reliance and Steven Spielberg having a 400 million dollar deal do you think that affects the Hindi film industry at all no I I think um, the big boys in uh, in uh, media corporations in India want to play the game in Hollywood you know but the the kind of subject matter which appeals to each audience is so different that it is just not I don't see it happening in the near future. A film like Kites. That's the case in point, exactly. I mean, uh, Brett Ratner edited it. Uh, did it still appeal to the mainstream American audience? No. Did it appeal to the Indian audience? No. So you ended up being neither here nor there, you know. So this whole crossover film, uh, which I used to be a big proponent of, uh, is really a myth. Uh, there's no such thing as a crossover film. Uh, Why you, do you think that is? When you talk about major crossover, you're talking about uh, not the niche uh, art house film goer. If you think of niche art house film goers in America and Europe, then Sanjit Ray was a crossover, you know. Even though his films didn't work that well in India, but they, he got the highest respect of any filmmaker. Uh, uh, if you talk about uh, crossover, my film Bavander was a crossover because it was accepted in a art house, uh, this thing. But when you talk about a major hit in America and being a major hit in India, that hasn't happened yet. You've had a Mira Nair who made Monsoon Wedding, which was a huge hit in America, huge in the sense of it's never going to do Superman, but it's, it's it was well, well recognized, well recognized yes. and well, well profitable film. But it, it, in India, it wasn't that big a thing. Uh, uh, films like uh, Bennett, like Beckham. In India also, it had a very niche audience. Because first is the language, okay? We living in Bombay think everybody speaks English, but the heartland of India doesn't speak English. Uh, for example, I asked my driver, did he understand the meaning of the word chase? Chase is the title of my film. You know, he said, he thought chess. He thought chess. Chess. Chess was so, you know, why are we keeping the titles like that? Which we think, ki, uh, uh, it's cool, the multiplex mein jo, uh, college students, aate hai, they know. But they are not the only ones, you know. Right. So that's the problem. Well, I have numerous of your films that are favorites of mine, and I know it's a difficult question. And I'd like to ask you, which one is the closest to your heart? Um, see, my, my four favorite films, and I, then I'll pick the one which is closest to my heart and tell you why. The Kamala Bhavanda, uh, provoked and shoot on sight. That's the kind of film I like to see. That's the kind of film I enjoyed making because I felt closest to them because that's the kind of films I want to see myself as a filmmaker. However, uh, not that these are all very commercially successful projects, but they were really something which I wanted to because I want films to say something. They're all fantastic films, uh, by the way. Thank you. Uh, my most favorite is Bavandar, and the reason for that is I chose Bavandar to be the film to reinvent myself. After Kamala, people had forgotten. Kamala was done in 85. Right. And then the next 15 years, I was doing a lot of thrillers in Los Angeles. Uh, English language, a lot of them for, many of them for Mr. Amritraj, many for other independent, uh, Roger Corman, uh, so many independent companies in LA. And that was the time these were thrillers made for a million, two million dollars, uh, went directly to video or on cable and HBO and so on. And I, I did that. Uh, I learned my craft doing them. You know, uh, uh, I became very confident of my confident of my craft. But that they were, I waited. I wanted to go back to the kind of cinema which uh, I had enjoyed myself, which I had influenced me. When I was ready, then I realized that I am now ready. I took Bavanda as my chance to reinvent myself because with the other films, the Indian uh, media was not taking me seriously. There's a, he makes these kind of films, you know. Uh, and it meant, it was important to me that the Indian media take me seriously. So I decided to reinvent myself with Babanda. You know, in India, it's not how talented you are. Who is willing to work with you is what determines the caliber of the director. So if an Ashwarya Rai works with Jagmoon Mundra, suddenly Jagmoon Mundra becomes an A-list director. Otherwise, I can be the same person doing the same thing, but they will not put you in that bracket. I have something to say to you. You know, a lot of people may not know this, but in 1988, my career started because Mr. Jagmohan Mundra 
Mr. Manoj KT and Mr. Anur Shah hosted a pageant that I won. And I remember I went to India and we went all over the film sets and, and he introduced me to the world of the industry and I thank you so much. Well, thank you. Actually, uh, in that uh, um, group which actually launched, uh, you became the uh, Miss LA India, was my wife Chandra who was the partner in that. I was just, uh, you know, as a supporting spouse. Yes. But when you came to Bombay, of course, I was very fond of you. And uh, I, we went out, took pictures, got a photo shoot done for you and yes. all that. I remember that very fondly and I'm very proud of you that uh, how you conducted yourself all these years and how you have been a, a young entrepreneur who has had all these media related businesses running simultaneously. And it's remarkable that you are here, a young mom and taking care of all these things, juggling. That's what today's women are all about, you know. They, they juggle many things, they do multitasking, they are far better than men. Well, thank you for those kind words. And once again, thank you, and that's right, your wife and everyone else, because, you know, sometimes you just need that door, yes. and, yeah. and that really helps a lot. Yes, thank you. I appreciate that, yes.